Hi friends, today I am going to tear down one Lenovo battery. It is from the laptop of 3000 series and the laptop model number is uh, Lenovo G430. And uh, accidentally I have teared down the, the label on the battery. Okay. So now we will uh, open it up with the help of knives but be careful don't cut your hand or don't damage yourself. Okay, it's opening. Okay, so you can see the battery. It is having six cell inside it, so that's why we call it six cell battery. And this is the circuit board uh, which is managing or which is stabilizing all the power coming out from the battery or and going to the motherboard it is having several circuits and IC on it I don't know exactly what it is but you can see the battery inside the case now I'm going to take out the battery okay so I have taken out the battery So here you can see each and every battery is connected to each other with some metallic strip. It, uh, it is not connected with the help of wires but with the metallic strip you can see it. And combination of these six battery gives us the output of 19.5 volt and uh, it is regulated by the circuit you can see over there the white PCB attached and with the batteries so I am trying to separate each and every battery uh, from the circuit you can see the metallic strip which is connected to each and every battery I'm trying to take it out Okay, I have to use knife, but you, you should do it very carefully. Okay. So you can see these all are different types of battery. Let's peel the wrapper of one battery and have a look on it. 
okay so the body is connected to the negative terminal oh the body is negative and there is some serial number I think and the company logo over there so the body is the negative and there on the top that is the positive one so this is the separator I think okay you can see a little space between the positive and the negative terminal where that uh, black washer has been put it to separate them so I'm sorting out the negative and positive terminal oh you have seen the spark so if I will uh, connect them together it will warm up the battery so battery is getting hotter so you can see the spark it is having having the potential difference in it let's check it by using multimeter okay so it is having 3.14 volt inside it yeah let's check another battery Having 3.55 or 5.6 so in each at battery there is 3.5 volt and this is the circuit board you can see there are several components on it I don't know exactly what is it and uh, I don't know about the circuit of uh, this PCB this is the black part which get connected to the motherboard and this is the back side of the circuit okay so now I am checking the potential difference by combining the three batteries together and here it goes and the third one okay So now I check the potential difference across these. Okay, it's not coming. I think the connection is not proper. Applying some force on it. Okay, so here it comes. It's 8.25 volt, approximately 8 volt is there by combining three batteries okay thank you for watching video and please like and subscribe the channel